Hey, it's High Tech Dad, and it's time for another HD camcorder smackdown. I've already done a review of the Kodak ZI8, which you see here, um, and today I'm comparing it against the Bloggy uh, by Sony. Both are camcorders that record in HD, uh, both record to uh, memory sticks, and um, you can see the sizes are fairly similar. If you want to uh, see my uh, review of the Kodak versus the Flip Ultra HD, it's on my YouTube channel as well as on my blog at www.hitechdad.com. And uh, later on in this video, I'll show you a little side-by-side -side comparison filming at uh, 1080. Uh, I think the, the Sony is filming at 30 frames per second. I believe the, the Kodak is at, as well. So again, the form factors are, are fairly similar, but you can see there are a lot more moving parts on the Sony, and, um, but the, the features are, are fairly similar. So let's quickly review the Kodak ZI-8. Powers on the side here, there is a, a flip out. Uh, for the USB connector, which you can see here. particularly like how it's flexible, so it's easy to put in. Uh, there is a removable battery. You slide off this case, as well as the SD cards inside. There is a microphone out, as well as the charger. And on the top here, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a macro switch to zoom in and zoom out. Firing it up should take just a few seconds. You can see you can choose between 1080p, uh, 720 at 60 frames per second, 720 at 30 frames per second, WVGA, and you can also do uh, camera stills on it. So it's a great uh, portable HD camera. This is the one that I carry around with me all the time, actually. Um, I like the fact that you can swap out the memory cards on it. Uh, one disadvantage is that you do have to use a proprietary battery that comes with it. You can't just throw in some double A's like you can on the, on the flip. So I thought I'd dive in a little bit more on the Sony as opposed to the Kodak because I've already done a full review of the Kodak. So here you can see the Sony. It too has a, uh, a USB that pops out here. It's not flexible so it goes in pretty pretty rigidly but it, it is uh, self-contained there. There is also another AV out there that you can see. Close it up here. Uh, the zooms on the side. There's a power button. Um, you can mount it to a uh, tripod and it's it's not that bad. So uh, let's see, we can quickly pop this off. You can see the batteries easily accessible and then the memory card as well on the side. So uh, there are a couple ways to turn it on. You can use the power button right here or one of the nice features here is a flip out uh, camera here. Uh, so this tilts and you can see I'm actually looking back here. So it's nice if you want to do some shots of yourself. This is pretty unique to the uh, to the Sony Bloggy with this uh, pivot camera and it's one of the, the, the features that I actually like the best about it. Um, when you close it, it turns off. You can also turn it on turn it on by uh, holding down the button on the side here and you can go through and, and view all this all the different things. So opening it up and one thing that you'll notice here is that the filming view area is restricted to the top part of the screen whereas on the the Kodak it's a lot bigger and it takes up the full screen. Underneath you can see all the different uh, settings. It shows you time, uh, date, that sort of thing. You can uh, change some of the different display options. Uh, you can have a timer countdown you can also change uh, the type of filming that you want to do. So to go into the menu, you just click down on the navigation button here or you can hit menu and it's pretty easy to, to go through. So here you can see the photo size. You can do a 16.9 at uh, 2 megapixels or a, a 4.3 aspect ratio for VGA. Uh, for the filming in HD, you can do uh, 1080 P at uh, 30 frames per second, you can do 720 at 60, 720 at 30, and then you can also do VGA 
there is a, a steady shot, so that's image stabilization, and it's got face detection, as does the uh, Kodak. And then you can go through and, and set up a variety of other things within the Sony here. So you can reduce flicker, you can uh, have the beep turn on, LCD backlight, lots of other different things on here. Um, change the type of video output, you can format your memory card, etc. So when you want to film, like I said, you can flip out the, uh, the, the microphone here or sorry, the, the lens here, and then uh, it will fire up. Let's see, let's get it going here. Uh, there we go. So if you wanna take a, a picture, I guess I was pushing, pushing down on the play button, so now I should be back to filming. You can take a video by clicking on this button here. So I'm actually recording, you can see the red light. When I stop, I just click it again to take a picture you simply, you know, you can point at whatever you want and just take a picture. The one problem that I found with this is that um, when you want to push something it, uh, to take the video or the, the camera, it does tend to shake the camera a little bit when you do it, so you have to kind of get used to it. Also, the zooming only works when you have it on um, something lower than the 1080p. It doesn't work when you're filming on uh, 1080p so it's it's just the 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 optical zoom just doesn't work at that point so we have the sony bloggy on the top and the kodak zi8 on the bottom here and this is an outdoor shot filming at 1080p at 30 frames per second so you can see this is filmed at the same time uh, to me, the colors look a little bit crisper on the Kodak Zi8 on the bottom. Uh, the whites are a little bit higher on the Sony Bloggy at the top. Uh, but I'll leave it up to you to uh, determine which one you like better. But basically, I wanted to show moving from very bright areas to shadows, and as well as the detail on each of these shots. So as you can see, I'm panning around, showing both brights and shadows, and you can see the output therein. I guess I need to clean my pool a little bit. There you have it. And here's one last shot. Up close, you can see the reaction time moving from light to dark. So anyway, uh, both these cameras are, are pretty, pretty good devices. You can read more about both of them on my blog, and that's at www.hitechdad.com. And if you have any questions about these, you can uh, ask me on Twitter, and my uh, Twitter handle is at hitechdad. So I encourage you to take a look at my other review of the Kodak versus the Flip Ultra HD. It's on my YouTube channel. And um, both of these are, are pretty good devices. Personally, I prefer the, the Kodak. It's just simple and easy to use and has all the features that I really want. But uh, again, one of the great uh, aspects of the uh, bloggy is the fact that you can turn it on and, and flim, uh, film yourself directly or film your friends. So let me know what you think.